Hey, happy new year. Yeah, not so much. Is mom around? Uh, no, she's not. Anything I can do for you? Um, no, not, not unless you're in the mood to talk about Craig. Sure, why not? <laughs> because you intensely dislike him? Oh, that. Well, Mama, she gave me the talk. She said that he's trying to change. So I'm willing to give my future nephew's dad a chance. But if I told you that he said some terrible things to me tonight and I'm not even sure he wants to stay married to me. I would say that he's the jerk that I always thought he was who wouldn't want to be married to my gorgeous loyal sister. I'm not so loyal, Holden. I've done things I shouldn't have and I lied to Craig about it. Hmm. Maybe I can give you a little insight into where Craig's coming from. <laughs> Holden Snyder is going to try and get inside Craig Montgomery's mind. You lied to Craig, right? Lily lied to me as well. And at a certain point, I just snapped. I said a bunch of things. I said them, but I didn't really mean them. And now you're getting divorced. That's not a good sign for Craig and me. Yeah, but by the time Lily and I got there, we weren't listening to each other. You and Craig are still listening to each other. <laughs> How do you know? Because you blame yourself, not him. I'm serious about staying committed to this marriage. I, I need to earn his trust back. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Why don't you give the guy a chance? Cut him a little slack. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd see the day where you would say that about my husband. Ah. Uh, I'm full of surprises. Craig left me a message. Are you trying to ruin everything that we have worked for? You almost told Paul and Meg about the baby. Yeah, would that be such a bad thing? You know as well as I do that it would cause Meg to go running back it to It is Paul. killing me that she's carrying his child. Almost gave her something to cause a miscarriage so she'd lose the damn thing. What? You would do that to a child, to a baby? Oh, you know what? You love Paul, you love that little bundle of joy. Why don't you just go tell him the truth? I can't lose Paul. And I know deep down that you don't want to lose Meg, but you have to promise me that you're not going to do anything to that baby. I can't hurt it. Craig, you know that a baby doesn't have to be biologically yours in order to love it. You know that. Really? No one asked you to raise your enemy's baby. I am telling you that you can love the baby of the woman that you adore more than anything. Because that is the only way you will keep her. any of your business. You went to see Craig, didn't you? <laughs> oh, my, you're quick to jump to conclusions. He called to leave me a message on my cell, but he hung up before he could finish. I know someone came to see him. Well, maybe he ordered room service. So much ranting and raving, he must have worked up quite an appetite. Maybe. I should check with the front desk. And I'm sure if I asked really nicely, they could also check their security cameras to see what floor you got off on. Oh, okay, oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> I went to see Craig. Well, thank you for admitting that to me. Now I'd like you to tell me why. Look, Craig went after Paul tonight like a madman. It's getting to the point where we can't go anywhere without being harassed by him. I simply told Craig once and for all to leave us alone. That's not why you went to see my husband. Uh -huh. And you know this because you have ESP? I know Paul. He wouldn't let his wife fight his battles for him. If he had a bone to pick with Craig, he would do it himself.
Okay. Paul doesn't know that I went to see Craig. I told him that I was going to get a massage. You lied to him? Why, you say that like you've never done it before? Look, Paul would be a little upset if I went to see Craig, but uh, frankly, he doesn't care that much about you or Craig. But I love Paul, and I cannot stand by and watch him repeatedly get hurt by Craig again and again. You okay? Yes, I'm fine. I, um, just ran into Meg here in the lobby. How was your massage? Oh, it was, um, I, I'm feeling much better. Good night, Meg. why this thing is upsetting you so much, but I'm getting rid of it. I ran into Rosanna in the lobby. She said she came up to see you. She volunteered that information, huh? I guessed. She's not very good at keeping secrets. That's what you think. What's that supposed to mean? I am so sorry. You had such a rough night, and then, then to run into Meg after all that. Yes, we barely had time to snarl at each other. Look, when I was laughing at Craig, that had nothing to do with Meg. I, I've let go of her completely. Really? Then why are you still so obsessed with Craig? Well, I've hated Craig for a long time, long before Meg was ever in the picture. Mostly for what he did to you. So, yeah, when I saw him so upset, I kind of enjoyed it. It's a waste of time. I wish you stopped thinking about the past. I'm not. I'm focused on my future. And I'm looking right at her. I don't know what I'm saying half the time tonight. It's alcohol and drugs. It's... Yeah, it's a very bad mix. It's... Craig, I know I hurt you. And it's going to take you a very long time for you to forgive me. But I can wait. I am not going to give up on our marriage or our family. I want to go to bed right now. <laughs> 